Hello friends and future friends, I am Shrewboy313 and welcome back to the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge. Nice, a steel gem. Right, in the last episode we arrived here in Chargestone Cave and... Oh, we met the Shadow Triad and we're told that the Team Plasma are around waiting for us downstairs, I believe it was. Right, now before we actually get into anything... I've realised that like nobody's watching this series, even though like nobody watches my videos anyway, but like this is getting consistently like one view. So I'm thinking that since Tanzia's been going up on like the first three episodes of Done Alright, like which is strange view wise for me, I'm thinking just like changing up my time, like my upload schedule as well again. Like instead of just having Pokemon daily, I'm thinking of going back to having like also, shout out to Chloris level 35. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go back to what I used to do. Like, where I play, who say like, two let's plays, like main let's plays, like I have this, like at once. But just like on alternating days. So like, just say, the day that uh, this video goes up, the next day, a Tanzia video will be going up. Then the day after this, and then Tanzia. Basically, it's more or less just the case of doing those until either one or both of them, like, just run the natural course and they're over. And then, obviously, I'll just start a new one. Right. Now, there are a few games that I do own that, <clears throat> that like, I do really want to play. Like, but I don't know whether they'd be suitable for my channel. And by saying that, me meaning I don't really think they are. <laughs> but, like, another thing... The day I'm recording this, it is a Thursday, I believe. Yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday the 22nd today. Also, these guys. We're the Nugget Brothers. I'm the Big Brother, and I'm the Little Brother of the Nugget Brothers. Oh, yeah, they just give you gold nuggets. Yeah, basically, it's Thursday today, but, like, this Saturday, I'm participating in a, like, a like an actual UHC in Minecraft, like, you know, an ultra hardcore competition, those things that nobody watches on my channel. <laughs> but basically it's, there's this, it sounds really awful putting it this way, just saying this woman. There's a woman here on YouTube who also live streams. Her name is Winter, you can find her on Beam. And like, she's doing a subscriber UHC for her subscribers on Beam, which obviously I am one of them, hence why I am taking part. So I'm hoping that, well hopefully that goes well, like my hope for when that happens is that I don't die first, I don't die to like PvE, like just computer generated enemies, and that actually basically as long as I can survive like I think normally the UHC episodes, they go for like 20 minutes. So I'm just hoping that I can make it like two hours and get like six episodes out of it and get to like the final few. Oh dear. But basically it's been like three and a half minutes. I've not even mentioned Pokemon at all. I know that's not good, but I do apologize. I feel like I need to sleep. Oh, bless me. There we go. Right. Now we're fighting a doctor, so it's a little annoying that Hades is paralysed, but obviously it's not the end of the world since... Well, obviously they're just gonna heal our Pokémon right after this battle. Right. And also just like, touching back on the changing my schedule, it's just cause I am personally getting a little bit bored of just having to, as awful as it sounds, playing Pokémon every day. Like, just to record it, cause I don't mind, I'd happily play it every day if I'm not recording and commentating it, but... Obviously, it feels like, <laughs> while I am at university now, it feels like extra work that I need to be doing, and I don't want it to feel like that, so, hence why I want to switch it up and play a few different ga- well, and play different games. It'll just keep- I feel like it'll- ooh, there's a Pokemon. I feel like it'll keep me happier, more inspired, and just like, more in it to play it, or play the games. But yeah, like I say, as of right now, it's going to be, obviously, Pokemon White Weakling Challenge, that's going to go until it ends. Uh, Tanzia, the Tanzia beta gameplay videos, I guess that is technically a let's play because I don't actually know how much of the game is completed. 
like story wise so I think my plan is go until either I'm just fed up with it like cannot stand to play it anymore or like I get majorly stuck like mm, I don't know I know what I mean but the words just aren't coming out very well right now I did see team plasma over up this way right also now I do have a few plans for future let's plays like I'm thinking maybe I want to revisit uh, somebody manipulated you if you can win against me I will tell you the secret yeah I'm thinking of revisiting maybe an old let's play that we've done like I did when I first started with let's plays I wasn't like like my setup wasn't very good for like my microphone it was like quite far away from me so everything was like quite I know it said shallow not shallow uh, everything was like echoey and just not good sound quality so since obviously you give the sacred cards even though it may not be considered like a good game in air quotes I really enjoyed it and it's like just a short sweet game that you can play through in a few hours so like Honestly, if I really wanted to, like, I seem to remember the Let's Play I did, it was like 14, maybe 15 parts. Like, if I wanted to, I'm pretty sure that I could just, like, dedicate one afternoon to it and just, like, get all the recording out in one go. Now, I feel like I could do that, but I don't feel like I should because then, like, my commentary isn't very live. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, that's just a few thoughts. And there are some other games. Like, like I say... I am, I'm like a variety gamer, so it is just going to be whatever I feel like playing, or, or if I get really lucky, just whatever gets really popular on my channel. Because like, for right now, obviously I've noticed in my, for some reason I look at these things even though it doesn't matter, like that, oh no, a Mew. <laughs> I've noticed that t the first Tanzia video got like 20 odd views, which is... I say it's fairly normal for like the first episode, but like the second two, they've gotten like 10 views each, which is, I mean, that's not nothing to me. The fact that anyone watches anything of mine is just mind blowing to me, so yeah. Right, but anyway, this Mew, why? Why is it a Mew? Well, I mean, I understand why it's a Mew, but why? Why does just a Team Plasma Grunt have one? <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Also, I like how we like. Ooh, a good chunk into the video, and I've barely spoken about Pokemon at all. <laughs> I've just been talking about what I want to do different on the channel. And like I say, barely anybody watches this, so barely anyone's going to see that anyway. And like, as it stands, Tanzia videos up to episode 5, they're all pre recorded. And like. I realised only episode or part three went up yesterday, so yeah, there's like a few days left before I can get back to new. Right, pin missile. I guess we'll just sit here while this happens, then, shall we? <laughs> oh, two times, nice. Right, because that doctor is there, I think we're just gonna go run back and heal Zeus. Like, even though he's not taking that much damage, actually. I could just battle, yeah, I'll just battle this person and then we'll go back. It's like just from this alone I can see another two plasma grunts. Well, I say plasma grunts, they're all, they all have the trainer title Lady, so. I guess two ladies. Right, Lady Jill with a float zone. Hmm. I mean, I would say for this early on it would be problematic, but. I mean, since we've got five gym badges, we are technically over halfway. We've got, what, 5 out of 8 gym badges, so that is, um, it's somewhere between 50 and 75%. It's, is it 62.5% of the way through, technically? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know if that's correct. Right, I'm not bothered about the move cover 10, so I didn't teach it. Right, let's go with Venus, because I cannot remember when when she'll evolve into a Pidgeot, whether it's 36 or 37. Like, I remember she learns Wing Attack at 37, but I don't know whether that's when she evolves into a Pidgeot. Hmm. Who knows? 
Ooh, not quite enough. Very close, though. So I'm thinking in the next battle, as long as Venus... Well, as long as Venus just gets to battle, I think she should at least get to 36 and join Amaterasu there as well. Right, back up we go through Charge Stone Cave. I always... I like I said like I've said before, I always forget about like Gen 5 because I don't play it nearly as much as the other generations or I haven't played it nearly as much. But like just playing through this again, this it does have some really pretty places. Like just Charge Stone Cave, the floating rocks, like the little charges of electricity that you get when you walk past the big rocks, it's just playing through Pokemon White again. It's just made me notice like little things like that that I didn't actually notice the first time around. And honestly, I think that is what is good about like replaying games. Like say you re-notice things I say re-notice things, you notice things that you didn't before. It's just it's just a very nice little thing that I wanted to mention, even if nobody cares. I care, because it's it's a nice little thing to me. But even if I'm just completely ignoring the fact that oh and Alma Armaldo, I think I'll just stay in with Hades. Even if I'm just ignoring like commentary on what is acti actively happening in the game. <laughs> right. One thing I am glad about is that we've not encountered any Pokemon with the ability Sturdy yet in this generation because for me Sturdy is one of the most annoying I say for me, it's probably for everyone else as well. One of the most, uh, one of the most annoying things about this, like generation. Right, sorry, I just got a message. Uh, gas. Oh no, it's got download. Uh, sorry, I'm just sending a message because I'm so professional. Right. Right. Uh... Right, there we go. Oh, actually, that did the perfect amount of damage. Right. And also, I like how I said the last battle Venus might level up. She didn't get to <laughs> battle at all. Right, Miss Magius. I'll give Venus a go because Miss Magius could be quite a good Pokemon. But, like, potentially problematic for me. Right. I, now, I can't remember whether it learns it normally, but I know Miss Magius can learn Thunderbolt, because I remember... Uh, what's... Oh gosh, what is her name? Fantina, that's it. Fantina from Pokemon, I believe. It was odd, It was either Pearl or Platinum. I'm sure, like, her Miss Magius has the capability of learning Thunderbolt, or it does learn Thunderbolt. Right. And Miss Magius is down, which means Venus does get to level 36. Awesome. Right, oh, we defeated Marilyn as well. Eh, uh, oh my gosh, she is evolving now. But do I want her to evolve now, or do I want her to get wing- Actually, you know what? We have flight, so I don't feel so bad about not having wing attack. So I think I can live without it. Now, is this technically the f No, this is the second evolution we've seen. The first one was Venus evolving from a Pidgey into a Pidgeotto. <laughs> oh dear. But like I say, I did look up Pidgeot's base stats. Its highest is speed at 91, so... We are allowed to use this Pidgeot. Don't worry, we're not technically cheating. Right. Oh, but that means her abilities changed as well. Oh no. I'm kind of dreading that. Right. Sn oh no, snow warning! <laughs> uh, I mean, stats aren't great. Like, I mean, Amaterasu's stats are better, let's be real. It's even- Amaterasu's even faster than it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Chloris is technically better. Hades is better, and eh, Zeus is at least faster. But I mean, snow warning, I am a bit iffy about that. But then I suppose it would, like, it would affect the enemy as well, because obviously there's not many ice types. Oh dear. But here's the thing, I guess you could be, I guess you could say that we got snow warning about that ability. <laughs> I 
hate myself for that. <laughs> oh. You see, to me, when I start laughing midway through saying the pun, that is the mark of a truly awful pun, and they are the ones I am the proudest of. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, as sad as it is, that is going to be the highlight of the video for me. Snow warning. Oh, I hate myself. Right, let's pick up this item. <laughs> Oh no, we've got, I think we've got two deep sea teeth, haven't we? So I mean, hey, if I really wanted to evolve a clam pearl, <laughs> even though you need to trade it. Right, I want to say we've got two more plasma grunts left and then we're done. But like, I don't know. Hope of team plasma. I also don't remember whether we have to go up or down. I'm going to assume since there's another grunt or lady, sorry, off to the right, that that's the way we have to go. Also, I'm disappointed that this lady, she didn't have, that Lady Joey didn't have a Rattata. I'm very disappointed in you, Lady Joey. Because, I mean, there'd have been the opportunity, I mean, hmm, I don't know. I'm also wondering if her Carvana is in the top percentage as well. Right, here we go. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to what she said. Oops. I am a terrible person, let's just leave it at that. Right, I also realised we've, like, we've barely used Chloris in this episode as well. Hmm, oh well. Use your Pokemon, show me your strength. I mean, I would say you can't see, but I'm flexing, but I'm not flexing. <laughs> Lady Mark with a Duru Marker. Guess it's a good thing we didn't lead off with Chloris then. Right. You know what I'm excited for? The Elite Four and the Pokemon Champion. Or the Universe Champion, should I say. Because normally, from what I remember, there is normally a Dark type user, a Fighting type user, a Steel type user. And it's either. Wait, did I say Steel or Fighting? I don't remember. Let me start again. There's a Ghost type user, a Dark type user, a Fighting type user. And it's either a Steel type user. Or a water type user, I think? I can't remember. Literally for the life of me, I can't remember the last person. Also, honestly, I think that may be the first time that Submission has ever missed. Which is a little crazy considering it has 85... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's all going downhill now, now that I mentioned it. I shouldn't have pointed it out. Um... <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Um, do I have anything to deal with it? I have this person berry, let's use that. And hopefully... Okay, Perish... Oh, I can deal with Perish Song. It's... This is their last Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They're basically... They've played themselves here. Literally, it would have been even if... Yeah... Even if that doesn't finish it off, and we get confused, we can always just switch out for the last turn of the Perish song. Yep, we're confused again, so... Perish count fell to two, I'm just gonna switch out, because I cannot be bothered trying to, like, go through the confusion. Oh, okay, why? I mean, I didn't really pay attention, so I don't know why Hades can't be switched out. Wait... We can't switch out and Perish Song is up. So is Hades just... <laughs> kind of ironic that Hades is destined to go down with Perish Song then, isn't it? <laughs> Please hit. Nope, well you... You played yourself, Hades. You could have survived this. <laughs> we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. See? If Hades had have just powered through the confusion... But I mean, I'm not going to complain because that doctor is just down there, so we're just going to run back to him and then heal up. Because I mean, I'm not going to waste the few revives that I do have on like bringing a Pokemon back to its full energy when obviously there is a free way to do it just down there. Right, let us throw up another repel. I'm running out. In the next town, slash. Pokemon Center, I'm gonna have to stock up on a few more, I think. Especially when it comes to, like, Victory Road, I'm gonna be using all of the repels in there. 
Right, what's down here? Um, a cool trainer, okay. Can just squeeze down here, yep, nice. Um, where is this? Ooh, an item, nice. A l oh, a lumberry, nice. The way I went on, I went like, ugh, like it was bad. I'm not going to complain at a lumberry. Ooh, there are more items down here. Oh gosh, there are loads. A power bracer. Oh, I think that's another one for EV training that... Well, let's just be honest, I'm not going to do. Oh, thought there might have been a hidden item there. Guess I was wrong. Right. And now, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, like down here. I might battle those two girls off screen. Conversely, I might battle them on screen in the next episode, which... Which, honestly, that's what I'm going to do, because I'm pretty sure we're just about done with Charge Stone Cave. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And next time, we will be getting out of Charge Stone Cave, hopefully. See you then.